Welcome back to Fractions with Mr. Saxon. This short video um, will be focused on simplifying. Fractions. Here we go. Let's take a recap of the three um, ways that a fraction can be presented. We can have a proper fraction, an improper fraction, and a mixed number. Here are four examples that we are going to look closely at. Let's look at A. Now, we say 2 over 4 or 2 fourths, okay, or 2 quarters. Now, what we need to do is we need to look at these two numbers, the 2 and the 4, the numerator and the denominator. We need to do something to both of them. We need to divide them by the by same the number. So this is where um, your knowledge of multiplication really comes in. And we need to be looking at the multiples, okay? So let's have a look at what we can do. Um, we can't do 1, because that would obviously give us the same number, but I'm wondering if we can do 2. Can we divide 2 divided by 2? Yes, we can. Can we do 4 divided by 2? Yes, we can. So let's do that, okay? Whatever we do here, we must do the same here, okay? So 2 divided by 2 is going to be 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So there we have it. 2 quarters can be simplified to one half. Let's have a look at B and let's move a little quicker. So we have 5 over 25 and we call that 5 25ths. Can you say it? 5 25ths. Now, just like A, we need to do something with this And we need to do the same here. We need to divide it by the same number. I wonder if the number is jumping out to you. We cannot do 1. It cannot be 2, because we can't divide 5 into 2. We cannot divide it by 3. We cannot divide it by 4. I wonder if we can divide this by 5. Let's try it. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 25 divided by 5 is 5. There we go. 5 25ths can be simplified to 1 fifth. Let's move on. move on. Let's take a look at C. Okay. 18 36ths. Okay. Again, we have to do something to the top to the numerator something to the denominator. Now I can tell you that we could um, we could sim we could divide them by two. Two would work, okay? But also uh, other numbers will work also. So I wonder if we can think about what other numbers. Do you think four would work? No. Five? No. What about six? Can 18 be divided by six? Can 36 be divided by 6? Yes, they can. Let's try 6. I think we're on to something. 18 divided by 6 is going to give us 3. 36 divided by 6 is going to give us 6. So now we have 3 6. Okay, but we can go further, grade 5. We can simplify it further. Okay. We can, let's see, can we divide three in, um, divide three by two? No, we can't. Can we divide three into three? Yes. Can we divide six into three? Yes. Okay, let's try three. Three divided by three is one. Six divided by three is two. Whoa. Okay, so now let's have a look at our original 1836 is the same as one half. 
okay? Now, of course, we could have, in fact, um, we could have, in fact, jumped straight away to, um, because I know that 9 is a factor of both of these numbers. We could have gone straight to 2 quarters and then we could have simplified it again we would have one half as we know okay let's now take a look at d d we have 99 one hundred tenths hmm okay i want you to pause the video and think about what number you think we divide both the numerator and the denominator by Pause now, come back when you have a decision. So you paused, what number did you come up with? Was it number two? Was it three? Was it five? No. Hopefully you said to yourself, let's divide this by 11, Mr. Saxon. So we have 99 divided by 11, we have 9. And 110 divided by 11, we would have 10, okay? Now, can we divide this any further? Can we divide, well, it's a little tricky because the 9 is an, um, is an, odd, uh, an odd number and then the 10 is an even number. I'm um, just thinking, is it, can we divide it by 2? three no we can't so that is the simplest form okay this was just a um another few examples of simplifying uh fractions um they are still proper fractions at this stage um please join me for another video um shortly